Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily and I just gotta tell you, colors seem brighter and more vibrant when you're around. You just have that effect on people and I hope that you hold on to it forever. Well, I'm here today with the El Brujo by Pure Salem Guitars. Um, I didn't know a lot about Pure Salem when they reached out to me and asked me if I would like to film one of these guitars. Um, but let me tell you some of my first impressions. One, uh, the price. This is under $1,200. I don't know how spec'd out this is compared to what the base level is, but check that like it has a matching headstock. The finish is really nice. I saw no flaws in the finish at all. The neck is lovely. Um, the frets are crowned. I haven't said that in a few guitar demos, I don't think. Uh, nicely rounded on the edges. Uh, I think I mentioned this in a, in a recent guitar demo. I, I feel like all my frets right now are kind of a little sharper than they normally are on the, the corners there. I think that has to do with the humidity or lack thereof. <laughs> Let's say I'm in Seattle and you don't really want it to be humid and cold. That will cause problems for you mold. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about mold. We're here to talk about this guitar. And uh, so let's talk about it. It has two soap bar P90s. They both say pure Salem Jimmy on it. In fact, a lot of things on this guitar are branded, which I feel like you don't always see on uh, guitars in this price range. Even the back plate says pure Salem on it, or it has the PS. Uh, the Grover locking tuners also are branded. The headstock has, it's not embossed or anything. It, it has this little plate that says Pure Salem. And I just really like the cut of this guitar. Uh, it has binding along the edge there. Um, and I really like the positioning of the strap button there. Even though I'm not wearing a strap today, this is fine, right? I think aesthetically this guitar is really, really nice. And just from a playing perspective, as far as feel, feels great too. It's under eight pounds. Uh, it has some tummy relief there. Not, not any real arm relief, but it really is an attractive and comfortable instrument. So I'm excited to show you how it sounds. Let's go through some of the other specs after we get some playing in. This again has two P90 style pickups, so you will hear some hum noise in the bridge and neck positions. But let me just do some, some playing, some chording, some fancy stuff on the different pickups. We'll start with chords. I'll start with uh, topping off my tuning. I'm gonna start in the middle position and then I'm gonna go neck and bridge each time. Go to the neck. And the bridge. Quick note, I'm using the Benson Chimera plugin by Mixwave. Sounds pretty good, right? I really love P90s. Uh, let's play some other kinds of music on them. Back to the middle. Bridge.
probably aren't gonna use that for that kind of sound. All right, uh, I have a little country thing. Let's go to the neck. I really like the way this guitar sounds. I prefer the middle position, um, partially because it's quieter and I place a lot of value in that, but I think you can get a lot of twang and a wide variety of tones from these pickups. They're nice and they're bright and I really like them. Um, let's talk about those specs like I promised. It has a mahogany body and a mahogany bolt on neck and you can really, see that it's it's quite nice and it's less heavy than i expected it to be it has a modern thin c neck which i find to be really comfortable with a satin finish that i just really really love uh once you have a satin finish guitar neck it's kind of hard to go back in my opinion though i've tried <laughs> uh, rosewood finger board with mini block inlays i like the mini blocks uh they look pretty good to me um, no real issues on this fretboard. Again, really nicely crowned frets. I'm a pretty big fan. Um, the scale length is that of a Gibson, so, uh, 24 and three quarters. The nut width is 43 millimeters, which I find to be a nice, a nice spacing. So it has a stop tail piece, kind of a Gibson style stop tail piece. Uh, I am a fan of those. I played guitars with them before. I, I love a good vibrato system, but it's not always what I want uh, when I'm playing guitar, especially with some of the bands that I personally play with. One last note uh, about the frets is their medium jumbo thickness. That's pretty standard these days, and it has an uh, adjustable dual truss rod, which is accessible up there. Very convenient. So let's uh, add some effects into this. I have the Keeley Moon, the Ground Control Audio Serpents Compressor, and the Hot Cake Overdrive. I'm gonna start with the compressor. So I'm gonna play some of the things I've played before with compression this time. I don't think you're going to be using those noisier positions for the jazzier stuff, but uh, let's try some country again. Let's start in the middle. That sounds really nice and twangy.
That was actually pretty, that was actually pretty close. All right, let's move to some fuzz. This is the Keeley Moon. And you can hopefully see the settings there. Let's try it in uh, the next position. the case for fuzz but I can definitely hear a difference when I'm switching between the pickups I feel like I play plenty of guitars and fuzz just kind of sounds relatively the same but I it feels really different to me the positions I really like that <laughs> let's move to the hot cake I turned the presence down on this a little bit, but not, not too much. get this guitar I really recommend playing it with a hot cake this is actually um, I've been playing this guitar a lot mostly unplugged uh, just to get a feel for it I like to experience the sounds with you all for the first time and that sounded sick I don't actually like the hot cake with every single guitar I have but it's really feeling these p90s man <laughs> Well, that was some time with the El Brujo by Pierre Salem Guitars. And let me tell you for the price, I am impressed with the build quality. Uh, the starting price on these is under $1,200 and it looks nice, feels great, is plenty lightweight for me. And I'm rather sensitive to weight, frankly, but uh, I don't have really any complaints about this guitar. You might swap out the pickups for something else if you're looking for a different kind of sound. Um, but just judging this guitar based on what's in it, I really like it. And the middle position 
mostly, but I really like that quackiness in the bridge. It's, it's a lot of fun, and I think these are really nice looking guitars that punch, um, punch above their weight, so to say. And this is my first experience with any Pure Salem guitars. I hope it's not my last. Um, check them out if you get the chance. I just think, I think most people, if you like the shape, if you like the way it sounded, and you like a, a, a nice satin neck with a modern C profile, I think the odds are pretty high you're gonna like this. So thanks again to Pure Salem Guitars for letting me borrow this for a bit in exchange for a demo. Um, I was compensated for my time, but the opinions are mine as, as they always are. It came with, it, well I should say it shipped with a really nice slick looking hard case. Um, and I just, I, when I was unboxing, I'm like, I really like this case. So that's just another, another thing. Um, yeah, I think this is a really well-made guitar. And I think that you and your presence has made it even brighter and more vibrant to me. <laughs> uh, please like, comment, subscribe for more. We have a Patreon at patreon.com slash get offset. If you're watching during the live premiere, there's still time to leave a super chat. And if you are not watching during the live premiere, there's a way to say thanks down below the video. Um, obviously there's a way to subscribe down there as well. Highly recommend that. Uh, please consider using our affiliate links in the video description, though I don't have one for this. I have links to Sweetwater Reverb and Perfect Circuit. So please consider using those links if you plan on buying anything in the near future. I really appreciate it. And it doesn't cost you any extra money. Uh, <laughs> to everybody out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.